Slimehouse TV, myself Theo Kane, hope everybody is good and welcome back to Watch Along Wednesday. The show here on Slimehouse TV where every single Wednesday I watch one of the original Dragon Ball Z episodes for the first time ever. I've never seen it, how fucking crazy is that? But I'm really enjoying it so far and currently I'm up to episode 16, so that's what we're going to be checking out today. In the last episode we saw that Goku had tried to flee the island that he's currently captured on that Piccolo dropped him in the middle of and said survive for six months and if you do live that long I will then start your training for the Saiyan invasion. Asian. and he tried to leave he built himself like a little windsurfing raft kind of thing and it was working all right at first but then a storm occurred fucked up all his ship and piccolo's had to fly in and rescue him while all that was happening as well before piccolo turned up he used a new power where he transformed himself into two separate versions of piccolo and started fighting himself because he's under the mind frame of like if i can beat myself then i'll know my weaknesses and then i can protect those weaknesses from other from other people attacking me when i'm in battle and he's also training for the saiyan inversion Everybody's training for Vegeta and Nappa turning up and it's really starting to hot up. I've heard that by episode 20, things really start to kick it up a notch. So I've got a few more episodes before we get to episode 20. Today's episode 16. Let's get into it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm buzzing to see where we go from here. Let's do this. Yo, this little clown dude is dope. I don't know his name. He looks like a little clown that uh, TN hangs out with, but he can throw fucking hands, man. It's a battle against themselves. And like I said in the last episode, I'm interested to see what he does with this power and they don't just sweep it under the rug and we don't ever see it again because I actually saw Piccolo morph himself into two people like Mitosis and surely that would come in handy when he's fighting people if he could just split into two people and rather than fight each other, they used two to fight the one enemy. Plight of the children, that's what this episode's called. Don't know why, let's find out. Who is he? He doesn't look like he's from around here. I don't know, he must have fallen off a ship or something. So we're on an island with a shipwreck. Oh, okay. So they've also washed up along shore. The same shore that Gohan was on. So Piccolo didn't save him in time, but he did manage to wash ashore at least. I wonder if he's back on the same island or if it's a different one. I felt bad as well when he left his saber tooth tiger friend. He was really sad to see him go. He said, I'll come back for you. I hope he does. <laughs> I guess he's dead. Too bad. Doesn't look like he has anything valuable on him. <laughs> hey, look, Rob, Start looting his dead corpse. Huh? Oh, wow. Whoa, six sword. That'll come in handy. It's super sharp as well. Goku cut fucking trees in half with it. Another one of uh, Piccolo's random powers that I've seen him just conjure a sword and a karate gi out of thin air. Dude's like the fucking Scarlet Witch. Man, Gohan's so fucked up. I guess he's dead again. They've got no empathy for a dead child that washed up on a beach. This shit turned Lord of the Flies real fucking quick. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? I'm Rom. And my name is Chico. Rom, the Space Knight, and Chico. <laughs> where am I? Here. Where's here? Here is wherever we happen to be at the time. Oh. That's the most condescending fucking answer to that question I've ever heard. It's great, isn't it? This is our house. It's free because no one wants it. Oh, maybe they've been washed up on this island for a while, so it is a different island, and these are two kids that washed up on the island like a while ago years ago not anymore from now on you can hang out with us we're orphans too what we it is like lord of the flies never some lost boy shit but chico breaks that rule all the time one rule so never cry not. i'm gohan it's nice to meet you gohan imagine gohan a few episodes back being told that rule you can never cry it lasts about three seconds Say whatever's on your mind, Gohan. We speak freely around this place. That's good. It's just that I've been alone for so long. I forgot how to talk. That shit happens, man. My friend's my friend who's a stop motion animator. He spends months on his own in a studio with the with the lights dimmed and shit, and he says that like you you lose your rhythm. You forget how to talk to people. Who are these people? What's going on here? There was a huge tidal wave about two years ago. Okay. Boy, when Two it years they've been on this island. It was so scary. That's why there's a lot of kids around here without family. Looks like fucking Godzilla stomped through it. So at least he's now on an island with a civilization on it. Albeit a fucking broken one, but still humans. These don't look like nice humans to hang out with though. They've got that sinister anime look. It's usually the look of like a horrible fucking pervert in a hentai film. Not that I've watched a lot of hentai. Cool treehouse. Come on, go on, 
You should have said the other rule was always run away when you see adults because they try and fucking kidnap you and they're evil and they turn up in a van looking for children to, it would seem, take away. I'll be right back. I'm going to get Chico across. Chico! Cool. They landed in that dope tree house. He's not a goner because he's fucking go on and he'll blast holes in both their heads. Don't be scared now, brother. You fucking fought T-Rexes. They're only a couple of douchebag humans. Slice the stomachs open with your sword, fam. Why is he just letting them take him? That's what I'm saying. You're a Saiyan. Use the fact that you're a Saiyan to your advantage when somebody's trying to kidnap you. I ain't never seen a kid jump like that before. <laughs> Take that, you big apes! You big apes! Come on, yeah. <laughs> it's like Home Alone when he's at the treehouse. They put us in a pen if we're caught, and they'll treat us like animals. Children's home. Sounds terrible. That's what your mum and dad used to threaten you with when you was a kid. Carry on being a little shit, and I'd send you to the naughty boys' home. So this is going to be like an A-Team episode. The episode starts, we see some tyranny that's going on in like a small town or something and the A-Team are going to deal with them. A-Team being Gohan. Who is this dude with a band round his head on them Rambo ones? My G! Everyone has the same face in this show. You put a different wig on that dude and it's Goku. Oh shit. They got some kind of power. He moved quick like Raditz. Or was it just an effect? Yeah, this guy can fucking swing as well. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, it was just chick, man. Turning up with these horrible guys. Throwing stones at her. That's enough now. We're not here to hurt you, children. We just want to take you to a place where you can have new clothes and hot meals and a bed to sleep. That's exactly what somebody who was trying to kidnap kids would say. We don't want all that stuff. Just leave. Trying to lure kids into the van with new clothes and lollipops. Maybe some of them want a home to live in. We all had homes before the time. Maybe they are genuine. And the stories that they take kids away and spank them in the home is like all something that they've conjured up through Chinese whispers and shit. <laughs> There's like a cool couple of fucking anthropomorphic dog characters that live there too. Hi, I'm Gohan. Nice to meet you. And since he's the smallest... You look exactly like my dad that's dead. To be fair, these look like a nice little crew to gang up with. Look, he's having a great time. Forgot all about the fact he's supposed to be training for a Saiyan invasion. He's fucking around playing Delavio with a bunch of little tear away orphan street kids. <laughs> so what happened to Piccolo then? Because he was flying around in the sky at the end of the last episode during the storm trying to find out where Gohan was and it looks like that he never found him and he washed up on this on this mad beach where pandas sell giant white carrots parsnips in the street and that's fucking normal they're gonna be little pickpocket kids aren't they they got no money standard orphan street kid shit Using the fact that he can cry like a little baby to his uh, to his advantage is a nice distraction. So the kids can run in and loot all the fucking goods. Hey, wait a minute, it's a trap, it's a distraction. Gohan can run away like the speed of light. Why is there a little bear kid with a fucking pilot cap on? Oh shit, that dog rides a fucking scooter. A hover Vespa. We just have to accept that in this world, humans and animals just like live together and some animals get eaten and some animals talk and wear clothes and run around with humans. I don't know where that dividing line is. 
I don't know if they've ever made that clear in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> There's something about like the architecture here and stuff that reminds me of like Brazil or Puerto Rico, the way that the like the buildings are stacked on top of each other and stuff. That little chase reminded me of Uncharted randomly. So it's cool that they've kind of used like a different type of vibe for the island, so it feels like it's somewhere distant from where they live. You still got the little igloo houses though. They're a staple of this world. Regardless of the country or the island or the continent that they're on. Or maybe it's just me thinking too deep into everything. <laughs> Free in a bed, man. Like when you're little kids and you have a sleepover and you're all just getting to bed top and tail and shit. And just crash out watching A Nightmare on Elm Street when you're like eight years old. Them were the days. I remember that tidal wave like it happened yesterday. He's brooding. When you sit on top of a cliff and just like... Process your thoughts, have a little bit of a monologue. You'd think this dude's been in Vietnam. Where the fuck are you going, little Gohan? Hey, what are you doing up so late? I'm on guard. Sometimes the workers from the home come at night. I do night duty ever since Rom nodded off and mm -hmm. fell out of the tree. So what's up with you? Well, I'm not really an orphan. When I was shipwrecked, I was on my way home to see my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Nosy bastards listening to everything that he says. Sorry, you guys. I just couldn't say it. So where is your house? Uh, it's right by I didn't even realize that he'd held his tongue and that he'd not told him. Wow, oh shit! So he's pretty uh -huh. close to home. You know where it is? Can you show me? No problem. I'll take you over there tomorrow. Man, thank you. Not that bad. He could take all these little kids back to his mum's house and she'd love to feed them all, I'm sure. But it's better than nothing. It'd stress her out a little bit, but I think she'd like to look after all these kids. So here's me thinking that this area looked like fucking Puerto Rico and it's actually just like a stone throw away from where Goku actually Gohan and Goku are actually from. No cars and highways. No. Except ice cream trucks. Those are okay. <laughs> Where are they going to build this crazy dystopian utopia that, they, uh, that they're imagining? <laughs> so are they all going to head into the city together? Why is there a little doll hanging by its neck with a noose? It looked like a noose. I used to do shit like that to my sister's dolls to scare her and upset her because I was a horrible brother like that. Used to get her dolls and hang them from the light with a rope and shit. <laughs> Weird fucking kid. <laughs> they love throwing rocks at these guys. We're gonna jack their van. Oh shit! Policia! The plan was thwarted by the police. Oh no. We're all getting you're arrested. Go on, little Foxy McCloud. That copper looks like Commander Dogstar from Buck Your Hair. But just not as cool. Like a Wish version. <laughs> oh, shit! Don't be drawing swords on the police. That's like a life sentence right there. We can't just leave everyone. Maybe he's going to come back for him. He seems like he's got an honor code, but you can just never, you can never tell, can you? Maybe he thinks if we get somewhere and hold up, we can go and rescue those kids later. Who knows? He probably knew that going back and trying to fight those police was a bit futile. Then again, he doesn't know how powerful Gohan is. He could fuck up all those guys without trying if he wanted to. Yeah, man, I like that the attention to detail. They're talking about this tidal wave. Everything's fucked. You keep seeing, like, crashed boats all around the coastline. Shipwrecks and shit. Oh, fuck, man. Hey, Figaro, why? Why did you leave them? Figaro, is hero. that his name? Why? Figaro. Oh, you fuck! I didn't have a choice. Punched little Gohan square in the face. I can't take care of them. They need more than I can give them. Oh, he's Those crying. Kids need a real home. Uh. Later, you're one bad dude for real. Keep it up. Where will you go? I 
don't know. There's a whole world out there. I almost get that energy from him, like King Ezekiel from The Walking Dead, that like he's put on this persona that he's this hero and everybody looks up to him, but really he's not, and like he knows that, and he knows that he can't offer those kids what they need. Maybe he knows getting arrested is the best thing for him. He was like crying as he said it, so he's obviously got empathy towards the situation. As he found his house. Oh, the little igloo where his mum is there, depressed, worried. This little dickhead's just going to rock up, knocking on the door like, Mom! <laughs> Don't tell me he's going to get to the door and Piccolo's going to swoop in and pick him up. You're one bad little dude, Gohan. He's not going. He's not going any turn round. I have to rescue my friends. It's real pretty round here when uh, Piccolo's not throwing special beam cannons at mountains and shit. There you are, you little what shit. Your Say it. To prepare for the Saiyans, to fight. So stop getting distracted. And to beat them. Then let's go back. Right. Your mission That's isn't to way. rescue Come orphans. On. This isn't the time for a it's family not reunion to... because danger yeah. is approaching fast. It's not the time for a family reunion. Piccolo's one hard bastard man, but he makes a point. Knowing what kind of damage they will inflict on the earth. And if you would hold yeah, for sure. Don't miss the next they will episode. purge the earth. They will eat the corpses of the children on the earth because they're fucking evil Saiyans and we've seen them eat what they kill before. Let me stop that there. So another cool episode, man. They didn't progress the story too much, but I was kind of prepared for that. I know that these episodes leading up to episode 20 are just going to be like little side story, little side quest kind of episodes. And I like that Gohan hooked up with this little crew of like Lost Boys, a little crew of like little tearaway orphans. And then the guy that was the leader of them, Bigoro or Figaro or whatever his name is with the Ram Rambo bandana around his head. I really like that guy and I like his story arc. And like I just said, I like that he's this person that they all see as a hero but he knows deep down that he's not like that hero he's just older than them and he can fight off those dudes that try and arrest them and stuff like that but he knows that he can't offer those little kids what they need so he left them behind but i would be interested to see if we see some more from that guy later on maybe we won't there's been characters like the robot that we just saw once and it was done but i would like to see some more from that guy and see where that little story progresses which is cool because Currently, I was only really invested in the main story, but these little side quests, if they can hook me in as well, then I'm definitely all for that as well. So, really enjoyed this episode today. If you enjoyed it too, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know in the comments before if this is your first time checking out a Watch Along Wednesday episode with me. If you want to watch the next episode in advance, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Slimehouse TV. I've got a tier on there called Slime Alliance where you can get access to these episodes a week in advance, and I drop other videos in advance and some other exclusive stuff on there as well. And if you want to get in touch with me, but you don't want to comment publicly, the best place to do that is over on Instagram at Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse. That's the social media that I'm on the most. So that's the best place to hit me up if you want to send me a message. So I'm going to get into the next episode. I think it's the last episode that I'm going to watch today. And you can watch it right now over on Patreon and Advanced if you want to. Or you can wait till next week. Whatever you want to do. No pressure. So thank you for joining me today for Watch Along Wednesday. I'm Theo Kane and I'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, I'm gone. Pow!